Hey there, how y'all doing? I did this video earlier and I didn't like the way it turned out. So I had, because I did it on my Android uh, cell phone and I was wanting to show you something uh, that's really uh, a, a, a nice piece of art. It was really done very well and that Android phone of mine just did not pick it up uh, well. So I took that video down and I'm going to redo it. Now I got my battery charged up on my video camera. But it's about uh, upgrades and more mods that I've done to my Glock uh, 23 Gen 4. Uh, she's empty. Safe direction. Uh, I th as, as I explained earlier, uh, I think everybody knows that, uh, of course, this is the Gen 4 Glock 23. I took it over to Glock and had the extended uh, slide release put on. And I had night sights put on it. And I did have at one time a Glock slug plug on there uh, for Gen 4. It was hard to get one for a Gen 4 for a long time, but it was the kind that screwed in. And uh, I love my Glock.com has come out with a grip plug, slug plug, or butt plug, whatever you want to call it, for the Gen 4s, that, that it doesn't need that screw in there. The uh, plug itself has a little nodule on it that you press the the plug down into here and that little plug sets in that hole right there and the way this fits the grip on the gen 4 is just so much better than the, the screw in type was it just looks a whole lot better getting an email there goes my old spice whistle uh, but the, this, this is a slug plug for a Gen 4, and it fits it a whole lot better than, than the one that screws in. It's called ILoveMyGlock.com. He's also got Glock polishing. He goes by the same companies, and I'll put a link down underneath the video. But here was what I was wanting to show you. Uh, I was watching uh, uh, Pete at the Armory Channel one day. He had this back plate that he had made for his uh, Glock 26, and it had a G26 on the back of it. And it looked real good. And I was looking at Bill over at Mr. 45 Bullets one day, and Pete said him one that had the uh, Celtic cross on it. And he showed that, and I thought, man, that looks good. And they said that you had all kind of stuff you could get to put on the back, back plate. So I looked on there. They've got stuff for law enforcement, for military, EMS, fire department, 1st Cavalry, Airborne, Rangers, U.S. Marshals. CIA, FBI, NCIS, CIA, uh, uh, the Punisher logo. Uh, they got, they got about 60 some, 62, 69, something like that. Different uh, items you can choose from, but uh, this is the one that I picked. And I hope this camera is picking it up better than the other one did. This one <clears throat> has an emblem. It says uh, Deputy Sheriff. And the reason I wanted that, if you can see that, this is made out of billet aluminum. <clears throat> the one that comes on the Glock is polymer or plastic of some kind, but this is really fine billet aluminum. And this thing is laser engraved in there, so it's not, you're not going to have to worry about rubbing it off or smudging it up with your finger. That thing is laser engraved. And I hope you can see where it says Deputy Sheriff on that. I'm hoping this camera... Um, hoping it uh, zeroes in on here. I can't hardly tell through this camera. And the reason I wanted it, of course, I had to cover part of it up, but here's the badge that, that I wear. And it, when I saw this on there, I thought, man, I have got to have one of those. Because it, it, it's made exactly like the badge we wear. Well, except mine's a six star, and this one, the one on here's a five star, but it's close enough for government work. But uh, NDZ Performance, they're the ones that has these. And I don't know if I got it out of focus again or not. I'm hoping you can see that where it says Deputy Sheriff on here. I'm trying to get it to... The macro on this has always worked very well in the past, but I don't know if she's working now or not. Hope don't know if you can see that. I, doggone it. I hope you can. But it says Deputy Top Sheriff on the bottom. When you're holding your hand, you can see it perfect. But uh, they really did a fine job on this, and I'll put a link to it down there. But 
I was just wanting to, to let you folks know about the NDZ performance. Got these black back plates that you can get uh, just about anything you want in there. I don't know if they'll personalize your name or not, but uh, that's, that's, that's getting it out of focus. I don't know if they'll do that or not, but uh, I'm trying to get it in there. I can't tell if it's in focus. There we go. There it is. Finally, finally found it. But that is a fine job on there, and I think it just sets the gun off very well, and I like it. Uh, check that website out. There might be something on there that uh, you'd like or that you'd want, but uh, I had to have that. And uh, also about the uh, uh, grip plug for the Gen 4s. We've got the ones you don't have to have the screw now. It's just got that. Just pop it right down in there. But... Uh, that's my video, folks, and I hope this one turned out. So uh, thank you much for watching, and uh, Pete at Army Channer and Mr. 45 Bullet, appreciate you putting me onto that. So thank you very much. See you guys.